Tussen januari 2008 en mei 2011 speelde Ballas Zoetsak in het rood-wit van PSV. De Hongaar met de haast onmogelijke achternaam groeide in korte tijd uit tot publiekslieveling. Zijn enthousiasme, zijn snelheid, zijn dreiging voor de goal en de gigantische knal in zijn linker maakten hem tot de held van menig PSV-fan. Dat is een mooie bal, het is geen buitenspel van Van Kandoor. Nu is het zoeken naar een vrije medespeler. Het wordt Juzak. Zijn eerste goal in de Nederlandse competitie. En zo is het 1-1. Na zijn tijd in Eindhoven raakt de Hongaar voor de Nederlandse voetballiefhebber redelijk uit zicht. Maar de connectie psv ballas Toetsak is altijd sterk gebleven. Na die ellendige coronajaren was het moment eindelijk daar dat Zoetsak de trip naar Eindhoven kon maken om te kijken wat beide partijen in de toekomst voor elkaar kunnen betekenen. Veel zaken zijn sinds mei 2011 veranderd, maar de liefde van Ballas Zoetsak voor PSV is onverminderd groot. Amazing, amazing, really. It's amazing to be here, to be back again. And uh, yeah, just such a good feeling. I was so excited. A couple of times I came to check the, the, the youngs. Okay. But uh, not that much, and especially the new ones, I didn't, I didn't saw it. I'm so excited, I'm so happy, and uh, yeah, again, I'm just full of, you know, like energy, and I'm so happy, and I'm smiling all day. You landed on Eindhoven Airport, you drove to the Hertgang. Yes, and directly. How was that? What memories does that bring back to you? Everything, you know, like everything directly. Just I, first I, I check like what, what is new, what was not here when I was here. So, and especially, you know, like directly in front of me, the guy I know and I recognize the guy. So even one, peep, one guy just came to me in the airport like, hey, Dudzak, how are you? And I was like, I'm good, thank you. Are you playing in today? I said, no, I cannot play today. So, you know, it's very good feeling that after 12 years or 10 years, These people still saw me and directly they know what is my name and who I am. So even in the, the, the airplane was like crazy. The people came and then they start to like, hey, this is Zuzak, Zuzak, you know, because in Holland they, they said different my name. So I always listen like if they said Zuzak, that means for sure they recognize me. So the, the, the flight was very nice. Like a couple of five of them, they came like, hey, can we take a picture? Why you are coming? What to do? And I, you know, it's like, Just such a good respect, and uh, this is why I'm like so excited, and you know my my heart is full of uh, positive energy because here the people how they treat me, it's it's really unique, and uh, I'm so proud that uh, I can be here, and uh, I I I can say like I was player of PSV, so that's why I'm I'm so happy. Daar zien we Balas Djuchak, een jonge Hongaar van 21, overgehaald van uh, Debrecen door het vertrek van Pires. Hij eerder naar Eindhoven, hij staat gelijk aan de aftap. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Your first visit uh, to Eindhoven, when was it? 2007, I guess. In 2008, was? January, I came. UK. Yes. How was it to, to, to come to Eindhoven yes, in half from season. Hungary? Yes. It was a, a, a new start in your career. How was oh, it? It's unbelievable. It was, you know, I was playing in, uh, in my home city, Debrecen, and you know, even the, I always talking about because for sure many people don't know my my contract, what happened before, because I was like, you know, drinking my coffee or something, taking uh, lunch. And my agent called me like, I'm in, I'm in Debrecen, because my agent is not from my city. I said, okay, it's good. Yeah, I will call you in one hour because we have very good news. I have a team. I was like, yeah, but before you always talking about this is good or not, what we choose. No, 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 don't worry, you will be happy. I said, yeah, but tell me, <laughs> tell me which team. No, 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 come in one year, uh, one hour. So, okay, so I went one hour. I said, like, tell me, tell me, uh, PSV is going to be good for you? I said, like, are you kidding? And I was like, You know, I cannot say nothing and no, everything is done. Here is the contract, the two clubs agreement and only one option is like, we don't know you are joining to the club 2008 end of the season or in, a, in the half season. So, and after directly I signed, I was like invited for one game, you know, to, to sign the contract. And then still we don't know, like I have to come in January or not. I was like, I was like a little bit nervous, but thanks God. The phone call is arrived, like Balaz 2008, you have to come January, you have to go for the camp. And after six days, we played against my first game in one of the biggest stadium in Feyenoord. So I was like, guys, this is unbelievable. And I never forget the impression, 44 minutes, I was like totally out of the game. My mind was 
you know, like 10 days ago I was still in Hungary, like nobody knows me and now I'm playing the, one of the biggest stadiums against Feyenoord away. In 44 minutes I cannot touch the ball. And I never forget, came the 44 minutes, I got the ball, received the ball, make one against one, in the left side, good dribble and I give cross to Danko and he missed. But was very good cross, what I know. And then, you know, like, and then I start to enjoy and the second half we kill them. So, and after this, like, everything goes really nice and, you know, like, I enjoy and this is my first impression because after six days, I never forget, without English, without any languages to speaking, I was on the starting 11 because they said, yeah, this is the guy from Hungary and this is the guy who's gonna make us different, you know, and, you know, the people, how they talk about me and gave me from the first minute the trust and the belief it's... It's, I cannot complain uh, compare with no one. Sef Rekhoze was uh, yes, also the new, yes. the, the new coach yes. at that moment. And there was suddenly a new player yeah. in the lineup in the starting 11. Balas Dutzak yeah. from Hungary. Yeah. Uh, the fans were like, okay, yeah. who's Balas Dutzak? How was it for you? Because uh, no, yeah, there I might be some and pressure. Even, yeah, for everybody even. But I, after I had many uh, uh, newspapers and uh, journalists said to me, like, 44 minutes, we was like killing the people. Like, who can make this transfer? Why they bring this? Who is this player? And you know, like after they start to show my qualities, and uh, you know, like everything just happened. Like, really, I need like six months to realize, like, guys, this is a dream. And then end of the season, we became a champion. So it was everything is just like a dream, you know? Like, I coming from a village where it's 3,000 people or even less, and then after six days to sign my contract, I'm in the start 11 and playing against Fein or the Derby. Unbelievable. So yeah, here it's everything can happen, and you know, like uh, they always said, the people Holland is an open world. So yes, this is what I can uh, what I can say. Like, uh, like a dream. These four years like a dream, and uh, the dream I can never forget. The dream I hope I never woke up. So it's always I can talk about hours, weeks about the the the, uh, the four years what I spent here, and uh, the people how they how they respect me and how they treat me. So yeah. It's just, just a dream. Yeah, of course I will say Ajax, you know, like, doesn't matter which one, the free kick, or uh, both free kick, or, uh, or the assist to Bucky, uh, when I would receive the ball in the middle and then Van der Veer was behind me and then they just uh, accident in the middle and then I go for the, to the line and give cross. So, yeah, but we talk about the goals, you see. So, of course, I, I set the free kick, the first one from, from like, let's say, 25, 26 meters. So, yeah, this is the one. It looks like Toyfone or toch it? Yeah. Now, that is well hard. <laughs> what a cross, eh? What an enorme cross. Was there any doubt uh, when, when, when you heard PSV was interested? Because you have to go to a foreign country, you don't speak the yeah. language, different culture. No, but you know, it's strange because I'm always, especially I'm getting older and I'm always, you know, like I want to come back for the, for the time, like okay, let's enjoy more this time, you know, because when I was here, you know, I was like, okay, okay, nice. But now I, I appreciate more that PSV, I can came here, you know, like they call me after 12 years. Sometimes I'm following Instagram and even the, uh, the, 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 the Eredivisie, the Federation put some goals uh, on the Instagram. So, you know, that's mean like I did something different than the other players. So, and uh, when I hear PSV, I was double happy then just I hear PSV because the, you have to know the story. Like a couple of months before I signed to PSV, my agent uh, got a phone call from Ajax. They don't want me, you know? And you know, when that's after this, like, okay, Ajax don't want me and PSV want me. Okay, let's do it. Let's show them. So thanks that I showed them a lot. And uh, yeah, that's why when I hear PSV, okay, uh, this is the best choice for me. And there's no doubt it's the best team in, uh, in Holland and uh, such a player was growing up here and played here and to join in this family to this club that will be more than enough and uh, I, even I don't 
I don't know how much I sign and how long my contracts. I just say, okay, directly where I need to sign and just let me go directly. So, and that's why I said like the, the half year was very difficult because we don't know, we hesitate like, I need to come or not? And I was like, please just come in the, in the, in the winter transfer. So everything goes how, to, how it uh, was the best. The PSV Ajax 4-3, or uh, maybe the 6-2, or the PSV Feyenoord 10. Yeah, this is just the most famous one. <laughs> what I want to say now, but yeah, some of one of them. Toyfone is er, maar vindt ook wat aan Zuzak. Hoeveel pijn doet hij toch in Rotterdam? Zuzak, en dat mooi. Beste vriend! Ja, team Je bent hier voor 3,5 jaar. Hoe did je je ontwikkelen als voetbalspeler hier in Holland? Oh, ik denk, zoals ik je you know, I was that time was of course different the football and uh, because now if you have to ask me like which the best position where you want to pay. I always said oh, I want to play in the middle or the right side because now the football is changing and the formation and everything. But that time was typical like, hey, we're looking for player in the left side with a good left footed, give cross one against one. And this was me, like let's say in this type. And, uh, and here they teach me everything what I need to do the best way in the left side. So I had many assists, what uh, scoring goals, and teaching me how to come arriving to the box when the cross is from the right side. So I think uh, I gave or I got the best uh, options and the best uh, uh, lessons from the best coaches, as I said, and from the best players. So thanks a lot again. And uh, yeah, I just really appreciate everything what they, what they invest me. Also a lot, you know, and I don't know what to say because you know it's not fair with the players. But of course, uh, Ibi, you know, like uh, Afelai Danko for me was, you know, also amazing, and uh, even Timmy Simons and uh, also Atiba, and uh, you know, like I can say everybody because it's that's why I don't want to say just one because you know the 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 the, the dressing room and even the guys was. You know, like was so much fun and uh, so much uh, good energy and good feeling and su success. So that's why I said the whole team was like from the goalkeepers till uh, till Mart when he was a massage guy was like was one one success success team. So, but uh, yeah, I can say I was I was happy and I was lucky to play with these guys. But uh, it's very difficult now to 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 set one because it's. It's a lot of talents player who I was. What did your career look like after you left PSV? Because uh, maybe the fans, they, 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 they lost you a little bit. Yeah, after the PSV, I went directly to Anji Mahachkala to Russia. And there was uh, the only one team where I was not succeed a lot. Because I just said the, the story was like the first game. The f after five minutes, they, they invest me 12 million euros, you know. And then the coach said like, we have a corner. And Balas go one against one in the corner. I was like, coach, yes, I do what you said, but I never was a defender, so I don't know how to defend the corner. And no, don't worry, it's just the corner. And five minutes in the first game, we just jump, and then I felt like ah, oh, something broke in my in my shoulder. And you know, like this is how it starts, how I start the, the season. And after you know, like operation, and then like was like two months out. But uh, it was very fast recovery, and then uh, in December I played one uh, one one more game because there the season is stopped in December, and then you know like the management just called me like Balaj, we have an offer. I said okay, just okay, we're coming to Budapest. So they came to Budapest and they said like, listen, one club uh, want you with the same option, with the same numbers, with the same contract. It's Dynamo Moscow, and you know like this time Dynamo Moscow for me sounds better 
than Angie. And in, uh, in, in Dynamo Moscow, I felt very good. And also we reached the, the Europa League. We play against each other, uh, against PSV. So I play against Debrecen. So it was also very nice four years there. And after uh, we qualified with my national team after a long time to Euro in 2016, and uh, because we had a very good Euro, and especially myself also, I scored twice against Portugal, and that's why I have a very good offer from Abu Dhabi. And you know, I was like, okay, maybe this is the chance that this offer never came again. So I was in uh, 30 age, and then I said like, okay, let's go. And uh, I went to Abu Dhabi for two years, and then uh, two years in Dubai. And uh, two years ago in 2020 came the Corona, and uh, I was like, okay, because of the national team, I don't want to waste my time to sit in Dubai. So let's see where I can go, where I can play, where is the competition, how is the situation with the COVID. And thanks God in my country, the COVID was, uh, was not that serious. So we, they don't stop the league, they don't stop the football, they don't stop you know, the normal activities. And then I was like, okay, I talked with my agent, where to go, you know, like, if you go back after 12 years, you know, maybe the people waiting that you go where you belong, you know? So I was, but this time I just said to the story, uh, my club Debrecen was in the second division, first time in the history. So again, you know, one turn in the, in the situation, like, okay, what to do, come back to the second division. But I said, okay, this is gonna be like, if I come back, I have to come back where I born. So let's go to, to Debrecen to help the team to come back, come back again to the first division. So I, I went back. And then, uh, thanks God, we qualify and we are in the first division now. And this is my first, the first year after 12 years in the first division. Was there uh, any, at any time a moment when you thought, let's go back to PSV and play here? Was the opportunity there? Uh, yeah, once. Once was an opportunity to come back. You know, that time, uh, of course, it, I need to talk about it because it was not the best time in PSV, not the success time. I think like a couple of, or two or three years ago, you know, like, uh, the club was uh, not in the, 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 the best shape and in, not in the best level. And then, uh, you know, was just somehow my agent has a good contact with somebody in the board and they like, hey, only we need one yes and, and maybe Balaj is back. What do you think? And I was like, guys, I tell to my agent, listen, I know also it was a very tough uh, for the budget for the club. And then I said, like, doesn't matter, just give me one flat or just give me something, then I'm ready, you know? And then uh, certainly just we, we receive a call like, yeah, they decide or they don't decide yet. So we don't know. And this was the, the last uh, here what I, what I know. Uh, but I was really sad, I, I swear. I was really sad because, you know, like I was in 30 or 31 in my age and then I was appreciate more, as I said, like, oh, to, to join again to PSV. Uh, to, to make something bigger than uh, what I had. But of course, this is the life, so I'm not sad anymore because I'm here again and you know, I always have got to see everything. So maybe that was, uh, that was not uh, the right moment. So I, I don't miss uh, that opportunity, but of course, I, I would uh, wish to play again one more in PSV, but we never know. Maybe one, uh, as I said, like legendary game or something. So we will see. First, when I came, for me, is, this is the best when I enter in this beach or this uh, facility. Because for me, as I said, like, it's not just because I'm here now and I need to, to talk good about PSV. But for me, the people who know me, they really know me from PSV. And the people love me. doesn't matter they are not support to PSV. But all, I can say with, uh, with, with a lot of emotion, the all Hungarian people sitting in Sunday 12.30 or 4.30 to in front of the TV because they know after the lunch they have PSV game and Jujak is playing. So, you know, like even I introduced PSV in Hungary, like the people start to follow PSV and, and for me, I cannot say like this game is my best moment. The best moment when I signed the contract to PSV, this is for me the best. And as I said, it's just the, the dream come true and uh, hopefully I still live the dream because after 12 years I'm still here. So hopefully now we, of course, we open another chapter. Uh, but the most important PSV is in my life 
and also I'm proud and I'm very uh, like uh, how I don't know even how to how to how to say like how much I appreciate that still PSV uh, thinking about me and uh, and yeah that's that's mean everything like for me I'm today I can sit here it's just everything and I'm so proud that uh, that uh, that I reached this uh, agreement with PSV in 2008 and hopefully we're never ending. Yeah. And what can you uh, do for PSV in Hungary? What is it? Uh, hopefully everything to be better, even in Hungary, even in in PSV. Of course, here you know it's we can we, we talk about different numbers, different budget, different facilities. You know, like that's why it's very nice now to come here to see everything, and hopefully I can share uh, my my experience uh, in Hungary. And uh, I'm also very excited what the clubs uh, want me to do to be better or to help to each other. So I hope if I can said now, like 2022, like I'm really happy if I bring one players and he has the same career than me and to show to PSV and guys, this is the guy, trust me. And after I will be very happy. Ta-da, 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 ta-da.